Before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. Also, if you are interested in courses or books, or you have ideas on how to improve these content, please check out the link in the description box. Hey guys, in this video we will take a look at working with dates in Stata. So in this tutorial, I'm going to look at three different possible cases and how we can deal with, the, with those date variables. So let's take a look at the data I have already loaded. So I have three different date variables here. So the first two are as, um, kept as strings and the third one is kept as numerical variable. So let's take a look at the first one. So here we have the day and then the name of the month and then the year. But the year is now given in only um, two digits instead of four digits like the second one here. And the second one has the month number instead of the month name. And the third one is a bit more complicated. So we'll go to it when it comes. So let's uh, convert this and let's tell Stata how to deal with the first date variable. So the formula that we will be using here in Stata is the date formula. And um, this command takes these uh, these arguments as inputs. So S1, S2 and Y. You can take a look at the documentation. So the first argument, which is S1 here, this contains whatever date variable that we'll be feeding into this command. And then the second argument, S2, is any permutation of the month, day, and year with their order defining the order that month, day, and year in this given first variable. Let's take a look at an example and then let's work through this, uh, this command. So let's generate these two things and then let's run, let's format them. So first thing is I've generated one date that's called date underscore one using the formula date. So this takes this, uh, this column as an input and then it formats it in day month and year so you can see this is 01 is day january is month and 2095 is the year and then we have this 2099 which is the optional argument of this command so what this does is uh, this y so we can see that uh, it has it has created one variable that is uh, that has the year 2095 and one variable that has the year 1995 because this column has only 95 Stata doesn't know whether it's 1995 or 2095 or anything else. So this third option basically tells Stata uh, which one to pick. The way of dealing with this is basically giving a third argument where we say what is the largest year that Stata will encounter in this given variable. So for example, here we have given 2099. So this tells Stata that the largest year that you would be encountering here is 2099. So it will pick the largest possible year when we have a two digit year here. So it picks 2095 here when we have 95 here. But when I tell Stata that the largest year is 2020, then Stata picks 1995. So it, because it can't exceed 2020 here. So this is a one way that Stata deals with two digit year in given date variables. Now let's generate another variable where the month comes first instead of the day. So the first one we did day month year and now let's do month day and year but instead this this time we'll be looking at date two so take here in date two the year is fully fully mentioned so 1995 instead of just 95 so that's why when we feed into 099 stata will still uh, think of it as 1995 because it's fully specified unlike the first case so let's generate date date is equals to the date command takes the input and then the format and then the maximum year and then we format it in the daily date format and then we browse it so this is the data that we had and this is the date format that Stata has generated now let's take a look at the third variable which is a little bit complicated than the first two so this is already in a numerical variable we can see that we have the years and then the month and then this particular case is a little bit complicated so we would have to deal with it step by step so first of all let's convert this into a string variable because we will be using the date command which takes string dates as its inputs so we use the to string command and generated a new variable called, called date underscore three and this is the new string variable now let's generate one date variable using the date command where we give the input as year month and day because we know that it starts with a year and then goes 
and then takes the month and then the day. Now let's take a look at this one. And we can see that for certain entries, it has generated missing values. And for certain entries, it has been successful. So this is what I was mentioning that it's difficult for Stata to understand whether it's month 51 and then, uh, sorry, whether it's month one and day 10 or month 11 and day zero or so and so forth. And similarly for this 1995, year is 1995 but it's difficult for Stata to understand whether it's month one and day nine or just day nine and month is missing so because Stata couldn't interpret these these are generated as missing values and the ones that can be interpreted has been generated as dates so this code did not convert all the code uh, date values correctly so we can do another thing let's try out so let's do the previous step again which is generate a string variable now let's take a look at the length of this variable. So this one has six digits, this one has seven digits, and some others will have eight digits. And we can basically generate the year. So we are using the substring command. And what the substring command does is um, it takes the first input first argument, and then it starts from this position, and then it fetches this number of characters. So here it takes this argument and the, we have given the position to be one so it will start from the very first letter and then it will fetch us the first four letters so this way it gives us 1995 1995 from these numbers so now we have we know the length and we know the year so we know when the length is six then we know that the month is in the fifth position and the day is in the sixth position so we can use the substring command to generate month and day so we, month is 1 and day is 1, month is 1 and day is 9 for these numbers. And when length is 7, it is hard to distinguish month or day. So we skip this, this combination. We take a look at the combination number 8, combination where le length is 8. So let's take a look at this one. So when length is 8, first four digits uh, is year. And then 10, 10 is definitely going to be the month and 16 is going to be the day. So, you know, fifth or sixth position is the month and day is the seventh or eighth position. So we will do this. If length is eight, we can create months and we can create days. So let's browse just these few variables and see what we've done so far. So we started with this date variable and we've been able to figure out the months and days and years for most of them. So as we can see that the year and month, uh, year, month and day are string variables and they are created based on the date for a string variable. So let's convert them into numerics. Let's take a look at them after converting them into numerics. All right, so now we can generate the date variable. So here I do, let's generate date fair. So this time we're using a different function. The function is called MDY. So it takes the month, day and year as the input and generates a date variable. And we can see if we have the date variable which has taken these year, month, and day variables that we generated uh, in different steps. And once we have done that, now all is left is to fill in these missing values. And since this is this this is a daily data that flows chronologically, we can fill in using the replace command. So it will uh, if date variable is equals to missing value, then it will it will pick the previous date and add one to it. So let's see what happens. And there it goes, it fills in. And so this is the final output that we have generated. So we basically looked at three different uh, types of dates. So we started with date one where the years are two digits we start with day two where the years have all the four digits and day three which is a bit more complicated and we used the day, date command and the substring command as well as the mdy command to convert these variables into state date variables if you like my videos and find them helpful then please support my work by subscribing to the channel